Hello guys, welcome back to my channel DP Design and in this video we are going to learn how to display your simulation result into the assembly of only one part. You have seen many simulation where whole the assembly is in a original condition and one part is showing the FEA results, right? That looks cool actually when you see it and it's good to like what you can say you can show to your uh, in a presentation in a better way that this is my assemble part and this is having the simulation result right as you can see my thumbnail this is upright having the some fea result and the whole assembly is in this uh, appearance so how to do that let's get started with this so we have one assembly which is having the our uh, steering rack and pinion assembly then we have wishbones our uprights caliper brake rotor and also the wheel assembly right so to get started you have to create a new study i will select the static study okay now as you can see we have so many parts over here so you only have to perform the analysis on your knuckle so what you can do you can just click on it and yeah this is your upright you you can select and add to a new folder that is your you can say upright yeah as you can see my part has been moved to here now what i will do i will exclude this all parts from the simulation which is not needed for now so this has been excluded now we are only going to perform in this uh, upright only the upright is there to simulate right so you don't have to apply any global interaction how to exclude the parts and how to give material to it how to include in the analysis we have explained in uh, earlier videos so you can check out now we will fix our geometry this is just for a basic understanding we are not going into much technical details for now i am fixing yeah uh, yeah so i am applying the forces right now so if we apply the forces over here this holes which is our upper link and lower link now you can apply the maybe 5000 newton or 2000 i will take 2000 newton of force i will select the direction direction will be this edge and i will give us the direction okay 2000 newton is also you can customize your symbol from this panel now i will select so these are your boundary condition for now now you can go to the meshing as we have mentioned already you can just do much finer meshes for the better better results yeah so mesh is ready as you can see yeah there's a hole yeah it's good for yeah it's good now what you can do you can just go to simulation and run the study so my material is not defined for now so what you can do you can just go to this part and apply the material apply to your favorite material my favorite material is let's say plain carbon steel so i will run the study yeah so as you can see my results has been displayed over here what if you want to display the result in the assembly only as you can see there is a there is an assembly which is not having the fea results over here on the upright so if you only showcase on the upright which has been uh, performed now what you can do your post processing has been done in this uh, fea that should be on whenever you are going to display your result so this is my dis displacement this is my stress and this is my strength right now i will make it uh 
true scale. Yeah. Now you go to the model and whenever you go to the model, here you can select the simulation display over here. So whenever you click on the simulation display, it will show that display in a real view and open GL. And also design guidance overlays the transparent image of the simulation results. Right? So this is your model and it will overwrite one display that is showcasing your FEA result. Okay. And what you want to display over here in this uh, upright. So I will select one stress plot or also you can select the displacement plot as well. So it will showcase the displacement. I will make my real view off so you can better interpret the results. Now you go to the simulation display and click the stress on. So as you can see, it is looking beautiful and cool. <laughs> Let's say it's very cool to showcasing the result and it's kind of it has been done in a assembly assembly level. You can assume that. So you can click over show mesh. If you want to showcase the mesh as well, you can show your meshing. You can also show the legend and this this is how you can do a different child part simulation and add into the simulation display right now we are going to perform on this uh, uv joint if you perform the open part and do the study and going uh, coming back to the uh, assembly so it will not work it should be done by excluding all the parts in the same assembly and same the same same part right now i will create another study which is having this uh, UV joint select the static 2 that is much yeah now I will find this part where it is yes I will create new folder add new folder and I will select the UV joint now I will exclude these parts if yeah so I will exclude I think it's a cool method for showcasing your result actually. So whenever you are going to perform this uh, child part simulation, now you must do this. Let's say I will fix it and I will apply the force. You make sure every time you select the proper boundary condition, so your result will come out very well. You don't have to worry about the actual condition. Whenever you're applying the real boundary condition, let's select the 2000 Newton. I forgot to apply the material, so I can apply the material alloy steel. Yeah. Now, force is done, boundary condition has been done, meshing. I create the mesh, I will create a coarse mesh. My geometry is crying right now. No problem. I will run this study and this is our result. So I will make it true scale. Yeah. So as you can see, my result has been come out and you can directly go to the model now and you can go to the simulation display. Now, there are two, two options right there. One is a static one and second one is a static two. Static two is our UV joint simulation and static one was our upright. So if you want to click the both, so also you can show the both result at a one time. So this is actually cool to showcasing your result. If you do the same on the other parts, then it will show, you can show the result in the assembly and it will be good interpretation of the result and you can if you if someone wants to understand then uh, this is the better method to showcase the result you can yes change the value for good perform result yeah perform result mesh control agent 
so this is how you can interpret right if it is press this is press okay that's how you can use the simulation display panel for this kind of stuff cool stuff right so this is all this is all for the video and i hope you understand very well if you have any doubt or any question you can comment down in the comment section and keep learning keep growing thank you so much and keep sharing